my onions are bulbing out nicely. They're not done yet. Another one over here, looking really good. Until the leaves lay down, they're not ready to be harvested. So while they're bulbing out, let them do that, and then let the leaves lay down. Once all of the leaves of your onion plant are on the ground, that means there's no more nutrients coming up from the plant, and it's ready to be picked. But hold off until you see that. Looks good. I don't know what happened to that guy. I saw something this week that I thought was pretty scary. One of the most scariest things I've seen in a while. And it's only because my ability to look at the video and then compare it and understand and read between the lines about what is happening in our country. There's gonna be a lot of doom and gloom in this video, okay? I'm just letting you know now. So if you're if you're into the doom and gloom, this is the video for you. <laughs> We're going to show some videos and then we're going to chalk talk them as we go through them. The Chinese embassy in Paris, I believe it was Paris, France, the Chinese embassy in France released this video. The Chinese embassy now in France released this video on their Twitter page. I guess the Chinese, every embassy has its own Twitter page. I don't know. The Chinese embassy in France released this video. Take a look. All right. Now, if you can't tell, if you're hearing by hearing the music in the background, they it is basically playing to the old March song from Command and Conquer Red Alert. If you ever played that video game, I just did a video the other day about video games. <laughs> but um, back in like the is it the early 2000s or 90s, the the, the the video game Command and Conquer came out, Red Alert, and they had this March song, and the Chinese embassy released this video to that music. Look at this. So, first thing to notice, these are women who are marching. Okay, these are women who are marching. And look at the precision. Absolutely fantastic. Now, you might be saying, Zach, that's just, that's just, that's easy. We, uh, our military does that. Oh, really? Because I have not seen it lately. This shows an incredible amount of discipline and drill work to get to a precision and march like this. All right, now, stop for a second and let's go show you another video from our military. Now, this video came out a couple of months ago, I believe, when they were deploying some US soldiers down to the border. They were not gonna be armed. They were there for more to deal with some of the people coming across the border. And really interesting, if you notice anything, do you notice anything about this group? None of them are in step. None of them. There's no cadence being called out. There's no drill here whatsoever. Absolutely crazy. Now, when I was in the military, I mean, everywhere we went, if we went anywhere as a group, we were always calling cadence. I mean, halo, halo, infantry, queen of battle, follow me. I mean, it's, it's drilled into my brain forever. Because everywhere we went, if we marched to the chow hall, if we marched to wherever, we were always in step and always there was someone calling cadence. There's nobody in step here. And they're in public. They're being filmed. They're on camera. Now, that's one thing I noticed. But do you notice anything else? I mean, it, there's, there's one thing else that stands out to you here. Right there. Actually, actually right there. Let me back that up. Right there. Right there. Because you are a disgusting fat body, Private Pile! If this is indicative to the current standard of the United States military, if we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with China, I have serious concerns and questions. I do. I have serious concerns and questions. Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh, Zach, that's just, that's just drill parade stuff. Those are units that are specifically doing that. And that may be true. We have the third ID, and those guys are you know, usually set aside for that sort of thing. But the reality is, I think our standards, I think it's very clear, our standards have fallen. Our standards have fallen. There is not one person in that group that I would want to put against any one of those ladies. And did you notice about the ladies? Every single one of those ladies is the same. You won't see any private piles amongst that lady group. This individuality stuff is a bunch of crap. What in the world is happening? Do you seriously think, if you really believe 
that our military today, listen, I, again, I've said this before on my channel. I think the only, the only thing that we have above other militaries around the world right now is our technological advancements. That's it. But when it comes to the fortitude, the intestinal fortitude that is required to do battle, we are in serious hurt. We are seriously lacking. I remember when I was in basic training, we drilled for days and for weeks Drilling is like the very baseline of discipline that you build on from there. And when I was in my unit, always, everywhere, marching, in cadence, in step, our standards have fallen. And it remains to be seen whether or not this is going to carry on into the battlefield. Our current military is largely untested. And even more so because this administration and the previous administration, Obama, has done a lot to get rid of the leadership who thinks a certain way and who feels a certain way about a lot of different things. I can't go into it on this channel. They have That leadership has been moved out for the most part. A lot of it remains to be seen. Second video that I'm going to show you today that I thought was pretty scary, was this Kenyan president who addressed the Djibouti parliament in Africa. Now, I've been saying for a long time that our U.S. dollar is in decline. I believe that the, the, the other countries of the world are going to come out with a gold standard. Um, Gaddafi wanted to come out with a gold-backed uh, African dinar, and I believe that's one of the reasons he was. So the U.S. dollar is in decline. And here we are seeing another country Two countries coming together and saying, you know what, we're not going to use U.S. dollars anymore. We're going to use this African bank to settle all of our transactions in the local currency. Here's the video. Traders from Kenya selling to Djibouti have to look for U.S. dollars. How is U.S. dollars part of the trade between Djibouti and Kenya? Why? And we are saying that today, Afri Exim Bank have given us a mechanism where traders in our continent can trade in their goods and services and the Africa Exim Bank will settle payments in local currency. That is why Kenya champions the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System that is done by our own institution, the Afri Exim Bank, why, members, why is it necessary for us to buy things from Djibouti and pay in dollars? Why? There is no reason. And we are not against the U.S. dollar. We just want to trade much more freely. Let us pay in U.S. dollars what we are buying from the U.S. But what we are buying from Djibouti, let's use local currency. All around the world right now, countries are getting off the U.S. dollar. They're dumping dollars. China is dumping U.S. treasuries. That's why I've been telling you guys for a long time. This is coming, and it's no longer a conspiracy theory. Guys, I'm not some prophet. All I have to do is read a history book. When you devalue your currency and you don't back it up by anything, and when the, the local voting public or the voting public of a nation des decides that they can vote for themselves whatever they want by voting in whoever they want, the country's over. The, the, that currency and economy is going to collapse. It's happened over and over again. If you have not prepared for that eventuality, you're sorely behind the eight ball. Because it's happening. It's going to happen. Everywhere and anywhere, countries right now are dumping the dollar. And on top of that, I just decided today to go ahead and look up the U.S. debt clock. And we are about to pass 30 Two trillion dollars, thirty-two trillion dollars. That's where we're at right now. It was like thirty-one and a half when we did the whole debt limit thing, and now it's bumped up almost to thirty-two. It's getting right across thirty-two. And from what I understand with this whole debt limit thing, guys, there is no limit. They have suspended the limit, meaning we can spend whatever we want right now. Congress can spend whatever they want. Okay, we can print whatever we want, even though right now we're kind of in a deflationary cycle. But we can spend whatever money we want, and there is no limit until a certain date when we have to look at it again. We can spend whatever we want within these two dates. That's how I read the bill. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But I don't think I am. I think that they're gonna, it's a free-for-all. So 
listen, how do you prepare against this? What do you do for this? It's homesteading. I've said before, you push preparedness to its logical conclusion, you will end up on a homestead. That is the best way to prepare you and your family. Grow your own food. Grow and raise your own animals. Ha- get outside the system. We're going to do a video coming up soon on how there will always be a black market. I've been looking at some different things, looking at, again, reading history. This has happened before. How did people weather the storms before when these things happened? Read a history book. All the answers are there. It's like an answer book. How did they survive the next collapse? Well, how did they survive the last one? How did people fare during other collapses throughout history? Because we're going through one here soon. Goodness gracious. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what's your name fat body all right leave a comment below let me know if i'm wrong if i'm on mark on this i don't know i'm just looking at this and i'm like dude, dude what in the world is happening leave a comment below i'd love to know your thoughts if you have been in the military let me know in the in the comments below did you or did you not drill everywhere you as a unit went everywhere without question you you called cadence wherever you went. If I'm wrong, if you're in some, if you were in some, I don't know, fluffy banana, whatever unit, I mean, you didn't do that. Let me know. Maybe I'm just absolutely wrong. And maybe it was just infantry, but I was on a military base and, you know, I, I was in military for one enlistment and I every, all units, when they moved, they, you know, it didn't matter if it was infantry or combat engineers or armor or what, if they were marching somewhere, they were marching. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your story. All right. Good grief. Hey, check out our merchandise, teespring.com. My pets make me breakfast, but also our stupid should hurt shirt. If there was a lot more hurt in this world, there'd be an awful lot less stupid. You can find that down linked in the description below our best selling. It's really hot in here tonight. I got this. I'm kind of sweating. It's hot. Summer is here. Hope you guys are growing your gardens. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. This is Grandma. Grandma survived the Great Depression. She survived the Great Depression because her supply chain was local and she knew how to do stuff. Grandma was smart. Grandma told us to make do with what you got. She also said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Homesteading is all about self-reliance and declaring ourselves to be independent from the system. We grow our own food, we raise our own animals, and doing these things help safeguard our families from the unpredictable world that surrounds us. But what about banking? I love being my own power company, but what about being my own bank? Right now, our country is over $30 trillion in debt and rising. The Fed keeps printing money and the Congress won't stop spending money. Staying attached to the modern banking system and their investment vehicles is like putting all of your eggs in one very, very fragile basket. On one side, you have the threat of inflation and your savings value floating away. And the other side is a possible deflationary stock market collapse, just like what happened in the 1930s. Genesis Gold Group is like a basket holding eggs, and these eggs are impossible to break. History shows us that all paper investments have and will return to their intrinsic value eventually. Zero. But gold, silver, and other precious metals have never, ever been worthless. In every collapse throughout history, people have turned back to precious metals to find monetary value. If you have a 401k, an IRA, or a savings account where you're literally watching the purchasing power inflate away, give Genesis Gold Group a call right now. Today, this instant, they can develop a strategy for you and the days ahead. I can tell you how I raise sheep, I can tell you how I raise chickens, or the best way to grow tomatoes, or how to hook up a solar panel. But Genesis Gold Group is your best shot at safeguarding your hard-earned savings and investments during this increasingly turbulent time in history. The link and phone number is in the description below, or visit their website at genesisgoldgroup.com. And be sure to say you heard about them from an American homestead. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait.